Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of our Superheroes Peace Power Program. As you all know, we do celebrate Earth Day in the month of April each year. So in continuation of the celebration of Earth Day, I'd like to bring to your attention all of these beautiful fruits and vegetables you see here. We have tomatoes, we have apples, we have bananas here, and we also have pineapple root. All of these, God made them for our enjoyment. So, today, as we continue to celebrate Earth Day and Joseph being our superhero, our sub theme for today is stewardship. Stewardship, in another word, means to be in charge or to take charge or to take responsibility. So all of these fruits that you see, like I said, God created them for our enjoyment. So all of the trees you see around us, all of the rivers, the lakes, I mean the oceans, the seas, the streams, the animals, the fish, the land, and the plants all around us. God created them for our enjoyment. But like Joseph, as you have been reading our story, God puts all of us in charge to take care of God's creation. In today's world, many of us are not living that good example of Joseph. There are people who already have enough but yet they continue to take from people who don't have. There is a story in Africa about a hunter who went to hunt and he was able to get a very, very big animal, maybe elephant. He put the elephant on his shoulder. Coming home, he saw one poor guy who wanted to pick cricket from the ground so that he and his family can survive. You all have seen cricket, right? So small. So he took that cricket from that poor man. The story that I'm telling you is how many people continue to live today. And God doesn't like that. God wants us to share our toys, our food, and everything with those who don't have. Some of the responsibilities that we have as we continue to celebrate Earth Day is like cleaning the rivers, the streams, collecting the garbage. There are some of those things that we're supposed to do to make our world a wonderful world. So Joseph, if we go back to the story of Joseph, Joseph never cheated anybody. He did what the king wanted him to do, especially based on the dream that was interpreted to store food for seven years and beyond. So Joseph never took food for anybody. He never cheated anybody. All the families and people in the land of Egypt at the time had food to eat. So God is unhappy with us when we refuse to clean our environment. God is unhappy with us when we treat his creation, the God's creation so badly. God is unhappy with us when we cheat others. So whether we are big or small, we all have responsibility to make our world a better place. Every good thing we have had, including all the natures around us, the food, the houses, the gifts we have, look over the food basket, see animals from Africa, elephants, the rainforest, God gave them all of us, gave them to us for our enjoyment. But we can only have a better world if we take care of the world, if we share our food and whatsoever possessions we have, if we share with those people who don't have. That's our message for today, and I encourage you all to look into your assignment book, to take your crafts and do your assignment so that it will demonstrate how we can make our world a better place for us to be. Peace, power, superheroes. Bye-bye.